My name is Flemming Nybo and I work with Guidance and Navigation for this Nexway 1 rocket. Now, uh, we are getting close to launch and uh, I'm here to take the final steps to make the Guidance and Navigation system flight ready. And uh, one of these steps is uh, alignment of the inertial navigation uh, system to the rocket. Now, <clears throat> the inertial navigation system uh, is what we steer the rocket by. It actually determines the position and orientation of the rocket during flight by incrementally uh, adding up data from accelerometers and gyros. And these accelerometers and gyros are located in a contained uh, unit, a so-called inertial measurement unit. It's an analog devices eye sensor, IMU. And because this uh, component is the source of our navigation data, it means that technically what the guidance and navigation computer is trying to do is to make that component fly straight. And the sense of what is vertical is actually the orientation of that component inside the guidance and navigation computer. Obviously, there is a, a chance that this uh, component is not perfectly aligned inside the box or that the box is not completely aligned in the rocket so that uh, the inertial measurement unit may not have the exact same uh, sense of forward as the actual rocket body. And now what would then happen is when the guidance system tries to fly straight, if you imagine that the rocket could actually be slighted, slightly tilted like one degree to one side, then because of the aerodynamic load, the rocket would veer to that side. And Though in that case, the control system would try to correct that position error, it is less than ideal. So uh, we are aligning uh, the measurement unit to the rocket uh, simply so uh, its sense of forward is correct for uh, better guidance performance. We do this using uh, gravity because the unit has accelerometers that can sense the gravity lift on the rocket that prevents it from falling to the floor right now. We can lay the rocket down, align it so it is uh, perfectly horizontal, and then we know that only one of the accelerometer axes uh, inside the IMU should be detecting the gravity lift. And if we see it on the other two axes, this is an error that we can correct. And we correct that electronically uh, simply by um, creating a, what is known as a rotation matrix, which is uh, the mathematical way of transforming uh, the measurement from the component into the actual orientation of the rocket. And this is only a slight misalignment. Uh, we have done this on uh, the X, Y, and Z axis today, and no correction was larger than 0.8 degrees. But that's also very good to know, and now it is aligned. The other thing that has happened today is a flight simulation, where we basically want to uh, get as close to flight conditions as, as we can with this unit, uh, though we cannot move the rocket at speed. So uh, I have been injecting data into the guidance and navigation computer instead of the actual uh, IMU data, so as to simulate uh, a liftoff and um, a slight uh, pitch uh, in a, a predetermined uh, heading, and also a uh, uh, an introduced role on the rocket, basically to see that uh, its navigation system responds correctly and that the control system responds correctly. So at the end of the day, what the computer should do is to move the jet vanes here at the other end of the rocket. And we have been uh, video filming this now from behind so that we can uh, look at the data and look at the video and uh, ensure that we don't have any wires crossed or any signs wrong that the jet vanes are actually deflecting in the correct direction to uh, make the correction to the uh, rocket that corresponds to the artificial data I have injected. So after these two steps, um, I go home and I look at the telemetry and then the guidance and navigation system is flight ready. Thanks for watching.